there is a grace approaching that we shun as much as death. It is the completion of our birth. Every human being is being summoned by grace to the courageous work of completing our birth, of arriving in our lives with an understanding and a full desire to give birth to who we really are. And this does not come in time, but in timelessness. Well, it arrives in time, it shows up in time, but it is sourced in timelessness as, as we are sourced in timelessness. And when the mind sinks into the heart, that's when we have the capacity to remember who we really are and who another really is. And we are able to, to see and experience that insistent grace that draws us to the edge and beckons us to surrender safe territory and enter our enormity. There is this grace that, that draws us to the hero's journey again and again, calling us to the edge of the familiar calling us to surrender what we consider to be safe and known. But for the purpose of giving birth to our enormity, our totality, and the fullness of who we are. And this is true for you, it's true for me, and it's true for everyone we will meet today. We all know we must pass beyond knowing, and we fear the shedding. We all fear the shedding of the tool we've been given to navigate the cultural rules and regulations and norms. This tool of knowing can take us so far, but we all know that it can't take us the whole way. And of course, we all become a little nervous in that, in trusting the force, in trusting something that draws us beyond knowing. But nonetheless, we are pulled upward through forgotten ghosts of our history, through the trauma of our past woundings. Nonetheless, we all are responding to the summons of growing upward through whatever it is we each need to face and forgive. And in so doing, we will also meet unexpected angels Angels that have been there all along, but perhaps have been hidden from, from our sight and our experience because our focus has been elsewhere. And we enter into our luminosity, which is the inevitable expression of being of every human being on this planet. And there's nothing left to say, but we are that. We are all of that. We are all of that. And when we come to embrace all that we are, and we give a similar attention to others, embracing their allness, there's something of a song that begins to emanate from our being and another person's being. And yes, how the world loves that song, the fullness of that song, the luminosity of that song. And so we may all take advantage today 
of the opportunity of this day to greet others in time. Of course, that's where we meet one another on this planet in time and space. But as we allow our minds to sink into our hearts, we, we will remember to look for the nobility of another's life and focus less on what we imagine to be those shortcomings. We will remember that everyone is being summoned upward, everyone. Everyone being summoned upward through the ghosts and traumas of their past. But that our presence with them can be a summoning grace that helps them experience their enormity, their luminosity, and their nobility, even for a moment. And in so doing, we can feel our own nobility being encouraged in the process. And as we turn to view ourselves in the mirror today, there may be a moment when we make eye contact with our own reflection and look with kindness and give appreciation for the gift of our own presence and welcome our own becoming. May we each walk into this day with eyes that are willing to see beyond the surface, deep into the soul nature of the human beings that come to our doorstep, the guests that arrive at our guest house. And may we likewise be willing and able to arrive at our own doorstep and greet ourselves, welcome ourselves, encourage ourselves. Leave the rest up to spirit. But this fundamental welcoming Without this fundamental welcoming, spirit has no place to, to take hold and to work within our lives. And there is nothing left to say. We'll let this day emerge as a song. a song that's generated through our willingness to be present to the nobility in another and the nobility within ourselves. May this be the ground from which the new life begins. Amen. <laughs>